Thanks for joining me here on Tropical Weather Impact. It's Monday, July 28th. Uh, 28th, I'm meteorologist Pete Malone. We are here in New Orleans dealing with a heat wave again as we kick off our week. We are still mostly dry and hot, but there are some changes coming here with rain returning soon. The tropics overall not expected to be terribly active, especially closer to the U.S. this week. Unlike last week and the week before, this uh, tropical or this moisture not really expected to develop much here, but we are keeping an eye on the deep tropics. We'll talk about a spot or two. We may need to watch long term and then that big heat wave. It's sitting over a big chunk of the US here that's going to be wrapping up soon and uh, we'll get back to more normal summertime heat. So what's happening over the northern Gulf here the next uh, couple of days or so is the ridge of high pressure. It's going to start to break down and we're going to start to see the rain return. Now this is a similar setup to what we saw last week and the week before when the Hurricane Center was watching the northern Gulf for a low chance of development. Only change with this, uh, the disturbance is mainly going to be over land, and so I doubt the Hurricane Center ever tags this for development chances, but still going to bring us a decent shot of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. So Tuesday, we start to see a little bit of rain Tuesday. Maybe that'll help out with the heat some, but notice this trough of low pressure drifting across the northern Gulf. It does bring more widespread showers and storms across the region starting Wednesday and then that'll be with us as we go through the remainder of the week. Again, the chances of this developing in anything tropical don't seem very likely because for the most part, we're thinking this is going to stay over land here. Not as many showers and storms over the warm Gulf waters. And while there will be some, this is probably just going to be an inland situation where you have some heavy downpours each day. And uh, this will be mostly during the daytime hours. So there's the tropical moisture coming on down towards the northern Gulf. Notice a lot of this does stay north of the warm waters. So put it in motion here. You can see Tuesday and Wednesday. You see that deep tropical moisture collecting across the deep south. Again, looking very similar to last week, just a little bit further north than it was the week before and last week you had that moisture coming down across Florida, where in this case it probably stays mostly in the panhandle and along uh, the states here in the deep south. That'll be with us through the middle and end of the week. And then as we get into the weekend, you see the dividing line here, this drier up north. There's actually a weak front that's trying to move down. This front is going to stall out across the southern parts of the U.S. and out over the Atlantic here by this weekend. And we may see some low pressure trying to form out on the Atlantic side of things. Not quite sure it's ever going to really be able to do much here for the Gulf. So that's what we're watching with some moisture this week. Now this big heat wave, luckily we are going to start to see it break down soon. This weekend was a scorcher. Uh, Tampa hit 100 degrees for the first time on record and it's never hit 100 officially at Tampa. They're surrounded like water like we are, but the winds were just right. The ridge was strong enough and they did it in Tampa. Charlotte's been hitting 100 degrees, which is rare for them too. So it shows you the magnitude of this heat wave. I mean, look at this for your Monday. You've got upper 90s all the way out into Denver. Salt Lake City at 98 degrees today. Boise, Idaho, 94 degrees. Fast forward into Tuesday, still a fairly strong heat wave, but it starts to weaken. And then notice the weakening trend as the ridge continues to get squashed down. And by Wednesday, we'll start to return more to seasonal temperatures across the Gulf Coast. Texas, Oklahoma still dealing with a lot of heat. Obviously, the desert southwest is going to be hot here, but we'll start to return more to seasonal temperatures by Wednesday and that comes with some rain elsewhere in the tropics. Things are not really active. Now we are following several tropical waves. There's a tropical wave right now extending from north of the Lesser Antilles Islands down towards and notice they've got a fairly healthy burst of showers and storms this morning. That probably grabs your attention. Now we don't expect this to continue to travel our direction towards the US and develop. This is going to get pulled to the north here and start to travel up towards Bermuda. Chances of development with that don't look likely at all. The way it stands right now, there's some dry air and some some wind shear that's probably going to keep that in check. Now, something maybe to watch long term is what we are watching out here in the deep tropics. Now, models have been all over the place over the past couple of days. Last week, when I checked in with you on Friday, models were perking up and they were showing, OK, we're probably going to have something to watch out here for the upcoming week. But they have backed off quite a bit because the Atlantic is still overall fairly hostile. We've got wind shear and we still have dry air and Saharan dust outbreaks um, that have been coming out of the continent of Africa. 
Now there are some features we'll keep an eye on. Right now we've got this monsoon trough, showers and storms sitting basically north of the equator. That's very common. And notice this healthy tropical wave that's just rolling off the continent of Africa. So what models have been trying to figure out is, does that thing try to develop here? Some models say yes, others say no. Now I don't think anything substantial is gonna happen through this week, but we'll be following this as it travels across the Atlantic as we go through this week. Now just a reminder, this is so far out here that it is absolutely no imminent threat to anybody, not even the Caribbean islands, but certainly not in the US right now. And while models do go out two and three weeks, there's been a couple models, the new AI models that have been showing a developing storm and coming towards the US. It is way too early to say for sure if that even remotely plays out like that. I mean, you're talking two and three weeks away from now. And so let's just sit back, see what happens with this as this tropical wave travels over the Atlantic here. We may see it start to uh, perk up. We may start to see some gradual development, but Hurricane Center not tracking it or at least not clocking it for development where we stand right now. But it is worth watching. I mean, we're getting to the point of hurricane season where things naturally start to pick up, but I still think we've got some problems out here with dry air and wind shear, wind shear and uh, some stability issues. Now, when you look at some of our models, the two GFS and the European model are two big global ones. They show that you kind of got this unorganized area of showers and storms, which is what we're seeing right now. Now, when you go out in time with these models, they don't show anything too aggressive, but you can see you've got that tropical wave in here with rugged or ragged showers and thunderstorms. You've got your trough here, pieces of that trying to break off and organize, but they are battling some of the wind shear. They are battling some of the dry air. Now, if we do actually see something trying to organize, it'd probably be later on in the week. And this is when we're going to be following that tropical wave as it nears the Caribbean islands. Now, again, not a whole lot of support for this to develop into anything at all. I mean, I was just checking all the ensemble models here. It's the models rerun like 51 different times, 51 different scenarios, and only a handful of them show this trying to actually organize by the end of the week. It's worth monitoring day by day, especially down here towards the Caribbean islands. But again, there's not a whole lot of support like there was last week. Now, sometimes these tropical waves will remain somewhat anemic or inactive as they travel across the Atlantic, but as they get closer to home, maybe there's something we watch a bit closer. If that were to happen, you're talking seven to even 10 days from now. We're not even talking this week. We're talking towards the middle or end of next week. And so that's why you don't really want to speculate what it may do in the long term. But this tropical wave, whether it's active or not, is going to be traveling in this area and it'll be closer to the Caribbean islands somewhere in here in about a week and a half. And that's something to watch as it gets maybe closer to home. Sometimes they can remain inactive, get closer, run into a better environment and try to organize. That happens all the time and we track numerous tropical waves all season long. Most tropical waves don't turn into anything significant, only a handful do, but they are worth watching. So that's where we stand right now on that tropical feature and that tropical wave you're probably going to be hearing about for the remainder of the week. But overall, tropics just really are not that active right now. We've checked off three names, uh, three name storms just to rehash on what we've followed so far this season. We've had Andrea, we've had Barry, we've had Chantal. Next up still remains Dexter, but I don't see any extreme signals that Dexter is going to be forming this week. Tropics are just one of those things. Take it day by day, week by week as we do get into the heart of hurricane season and where we stand right now. We're still in that portion of the season where it is not unusual for things to be on the quiet side. So far we have uh, been fairly inactive. We had a couple spots to watch, but it's been a while since our last name storm here and uh, typically mid to late July does have these longer lulls. It's the August time frame where really things start to pick up. And my rule of thumb is August 20th and beyond. August 20th is that day we say where things can, uh, most of the activity is after August 20th. And then heading into September is your peak of hurricane season. Usually around the second week is the peak of the season before things uh, sometimes stay active well into October and then November. That's the month where uh, here on the Northern Gulf, especially in Louisiana, Mississippi, we're done with any substantial tropical risk there. That risk starts to shift more towards Florida and the Caribbean islands and things of that nature. And so we still have quite a bit of the season to go, still calling for a average to slightly above average season. But there are some things out there that are working against a busy season. We've got some stability issues still in the Atlantic. We've got uh, wind shear, dry air could really do a number here. And while water temperatures are plenty warm closer to home, which we certainly watch and can be a factor in the season, Anytime you've got really warm waters in the northern parts of the tropics, 
you get stability issues. Um, you can see the Atlantic is starting to heat up here. I do think we're going to see the water temperatures heat up out in the main development region over the next couple of weeks or so. And that's as we head into August. Naturally, when the things start to pick up in August here. So we will likely start to see at least some more activity in the tropics over the next two to probably three weeks. But as we stand right now, there are no substantial risks to um, the United States in the tropics. You may be seeing things online, model runs, things like that. but. Just rest assured, nothing is coming our way at least anytime soon. We're going to keep you updated here all hurricane season. We take the breaks when we can get them. This is when you should be doing all those basic preparations you can do when it's not busy, just in case we do have something later on in the season. That's going to do it for today's tropical weather impact. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Same place, same time.